Hey guys, so today's tutorial is a bit different for me. I stepped out of my comfort zone a little bit. You still have that blown out smokiness I usually go for, but I wanted to try some crazy blue liner. So if you'd like to see how I got this look, please keep watching. So I'm starting out with a Makeup Geek eyeshadow. This one is Creme Brulee, and I'm just throwing this into the crease with a Sigma E40. It's either an E40 or an E38. The E38 is the smaller one, if you're wondering. One of those two, I cannot really tell by this picture. Anyways, going into the crease with this, this is just going to be our transition color. Now I'm using Shimma Shimma by Makeup Geek, and I'm just applying this with, I believe this is like a Sigma E25, just their kind of standard blending brush, and highlighting my brow bone and the inner corner of my eye. And now I'm using Mercury by Makeup Geek and a MAC 239 flat shader brush, and I'm just applying this to the first three quarters of my lid, and I'm going up into the crease. Now from my Lorac Pro palette, I'm taking the color Slate, which is almost just like Mercury, except it's a little bit darker, and I'm applying this with the same brush to the outer corner of my eye, and I am just start, sort of starting to map out a cat eye shape because I am going to be extending the outer corner. I'm just going to start mapping it out here. Now I'm taking my Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes pencil in black and lining my waterline, tight line, and my lower lash line, I'm smudging it out there. Now I'm taking a little bit of black eyeshadow from Makeup Geek called Corrupt on a pencil brush and smoking out that lower lash line. Now I'm taking creme brulee on an E36. This is like the tiniest, tiniest little blending brush from Sigma and just sort of softening up that edge between my skin and the black eyeshadow so it's not so harsh. Now I'm taking a little bit of Corrupt on a pencil brush, darkening up that outer corner of my eye. And in a second, I will be going in again with the E36, this one right here, and extending that outer corner even farther. I'm using very, very little pressure and very little product and slowly building it up. And as you'll see, I'm extending the outer corner and then slowly bringing it in to the inner corner just hugging the mercury shadow that we laid out earlier, just applying this right into the crease. And I don't want it to be a heavy black line, I just want the look to be complete. I'm taking my time with this, blending it out, as you will see here. Now for the eyeliner, I am mixing two. I'm using this Lime Crime Lunar Sea, the white eyeliner, and a NYX eyeliner in Extreme Blue. I'm mixing them basically half and half on the back of my hand, and then I'm using a Sephora Bent Liner Brush to apply the mixture to my eyes. I like this because it made the blue a lot more vibrant. If I just use the Extreme Blue, it would be a little bit too dark and it would kind of be, you would hardly be able to see that it was a blue, if you know what I'm saying. And I wanted it to be a bit extreme, so that is why I mixed the two. So here I am, I'm using tape as training wheels for my liner and I'm just creating a medium sized wing, extending it pretty far though. And I will say that to get the best effect, I did a double layer of this product just made it a little bit more intense, which is what I was going for, you know what I mean? Now rip off the tape and you'll see what you have. Now I'm applying mascara to my top and bottom lashes. I'm just using my Lancome Hypnose Drama Waterproof Mascara. Love this one a lot. 
and for falsies I'm using these by Lena Lashes these are the style Naomi I love them for this because they're full and long yet they have spaces in between so you can see that blue liner you really want to showcase that so this is what you should end up with and this is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I will list my face and lip products down below for you guys if you're interested. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Love you guys. Hey everyone, so today we are recreating Jennifer Lopez's Golden Globes makeup look. It was gorgeous, blown out, smoky, with a pale pink lip. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. If you would like to see how I created her look or recreated, please keep watching. Now I'm starting with a Makeup Geek Shadow Creme Brulee for my transition color. Um, you're not really going to see this, so you can be kind of sloppy. I'm just kind of going into the crease.